So 2020 is finally coming to an end. 2020 was like a roller coaster. Many things have changed around us. But on the brighter side, I fished through the most of the pandemic and had a lot of footages while fishing. So in this short video, I put together the top 5 fishing moments from some of the unpublished footages of 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's begin with number 5, The Lost Keeper. That's a keeper. Sometimes golf makes a difference. I wasn't fishing with these lures or bait a lot this year, but when I use them, they always produce. In this clip, I was dragging the lure in front of these submerged rocks where fruit were hiding. After the hookup, I was trying to slide the fish up, but the fish shook the hook. What didn't show very clearly in this video was when I put the gulp right back into the water. Another fish shoots out from the rocks and grabs the lure. The second hookup didn't last Shit. long either. Maybe next year, I'll try some different strategies fishing these rocks. Sort of a uh, just a uh, swing fish. And the number four, hungry spiny dogfish. This clip shows a charter trip with a couple of friends. Captain Mike sure knows how to put out some fish, but there was only one problem. Scoot up spiny dogfish, they were everywhere top to bottom. I was trying to avoid hooking them up by switching to jigging. But then I realized when they're hungry, they're willing to hit anything, jigs included. The rod and reel I use for jigging in this video is a uh, Tsunami Acid Wrap Slow Pitch Medium Light Rod and paired with the Omoto Talos 10 Reel. This setup will handle up to 4 ounce jigs and uh, yet strong enough to muscle some big fish, also very light in weight. With 6 to 1 gear ratio, the Omoto Reel gains line very quickly. So personally, I think anyone wants to try slow pitch jigging, this setup would definitely be worth trying. In the meanwhile, it will not break the bank. Number 3, the monster in the sand. Oh wow! Look at that, it's a huge stargazer. It's huge. One of my favorite fishing area was closed to public during the peak of the pandemic. I didn't get to fish this area until July. And in this clip, it was the very first trip I took after the area reopened for fishing. It felt so good to be able to walk that stretch of inlet again. You gotta be careful with these guys. This thing is huge. Probably the largest one I've ever encountered. So let me take a picture real quick. Oh, it's gone. Buried itself in the sand. Number two, the black tip.
This is a very special fish. Not only a black tip shark, but also the very first shark I've ever landed. Small in size, but what an icebreaker! Now being able to land a shark for the past three years, the shark skunk has been following me around for a while. There's one specific person in this video I want to thank for. Thank you for showing me the road. Or maybe the line. And the encouragement when I first started. Thank you. And finally, number one, the impossible catch. This was the last mixed bag trip of 2020 on Captain Mike's boat. It's a keeper, I, think. I was doing the same slow pitch jigging, and uh, this black fish, aka Totog, hit the jig. I've heard blackfish can be so aggressive at times and they're willing to hit artificial lures, even flies. But you have to see it to believe it. Okay, this is my top 5 picks from my unpublished 2020 fishing footages. Which one is your favorite and uh, how was your 2020 fishing season? Please leave a comment below. If you like my videos, please consider subscribe and share my videos. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays.